Today, I wanna to talk about what you can do when you are not getting any responses to pitches you're sending out to clients or potential clients, licensing partners for surface pattern design work. You're trying to get work, you're trying to partner with someone, you're trying to get some art director to pay attention to your artwork so that they can hire you to do some work for either freelance or they can license your work. You've been sending emails out, you're not getting any responses. Let's talk about that today. Hopefully you have seen a couple of my other videos where I am talking about how you need to just get started and send pitches. And even if you don't feel ready, even if your portfolio isn't super developed, there are a lot of reasons to get started pitching now rather than wait until you feel like you're at this perfect place. And so you've taken my advice, you're very clever, and you've started to send out some emails to different potential clients, companies, art directors, etc., with your artwork. The most common response to these type of emails is no response at all, unfortunately. Um, sometimes you get a yes, I'd love to work with you. Sometimes you get a your work looks great, I'll keep you in mind. Sometimes you get a sorry, right now we don't work with artists or we're not looking for any new anyone new to partner with. But most of all, I haven't done a study on this, but most of all, statistically, it certainly seems like no one's responding at all. And that can be the most frustrating response of all. You know, rejection is hard, but being ignored is harder. So it can feel like you're sending your emails out into the abyss and it can definitely be demotivating to get to a point where you've sent out all these emails and you're just not hearing anything back. It's like, what is even the point of this? So I wanna talk about a couple things that you can do as you get into this place where you're not getting a lot of responses. The first thing to do, give yourself a high five, right? Give yourself a pat on the back. I know this is like, it seems trivial, but for real, it is very brave to send out your work and pitch your work to clients. And even though I think, you know, with practice, it gets so much easier. And that's another reason why I want you to get started as soon as possible. Um, do, sending out those emails is hard. It, it, it really deserves a pat on the back. Even now when I'm, you know, 20 years into my career, 10 years into, you know, being a freelancer, um, you know, when I send out an email, when I actually get around to sending out an email and I don't pitch a lot, but when I do, it's a pat on the back moment. It's like a, yes, I did it. Wow. Even if I don't hear anything back. So first of all, give yourself congratulations for, you know, being brave enough to hit send for taking some initiative in your own career. The next thing to do is remember that you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes, okay? Oftentimes we make up stories in our heads that make us feel bad. We're making up stories as to what the reason is no one's responding. Clearly I sent out six emails and nobody responded. Clearly everyone hates my work. Clearly, um, it was so bad, it was so laughable that it wasn't even worth responding to. Clearly, I am doomed to never find a client and I should just stop now, right? We catastrophize, catastrophize, we catastrophize. In our head, we think of why things are definitely bad. <laughs> And it's so ridiculous that we do this, but it's just like such a natural human thing to like think of reasons to fill in the blanks and to fill them in negatively, not positively. We're not saying clearly no one responded because it's so amazing they wanted to 
you know, like come to my door and give me a congratulations or something insane like that. You know, we don't ever think of like, what's the best possible outcome. We only think about what's the worst possible outcome and what's the worst possible reason something could be happening when we don't know the answers. So stop making stories up in your head just to make yourself feel bad. There are any number of reasons why people don't respond to emails and not all of them have to do with your art not being right for the product okay people can be on vacation emails can go to spam accidentally and they never see them um you could be reaching out to the wrong person you could you know the email could be something where they read it they liked it um but before they responded, they don't want to get your hopes up. First, they want to run the artwork by their creative director or like, you know, someone higher up in the company. And that hasn't, you know, they haven't gotten a response from their boss there. Um, there could be 50 reasons why an art director would like your work and be interested in working with you, but not respond for, you know, months at a time. So remember that, don't just make up stories to say that your work isn't good enough or to say that there's no point in you sending out emails. There are all kinds of emails that people miss for totally normal reasons, especially right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic, you know, kids, our home all of a sudden because they got like last week my kid had a possible exposure at school so suddenly I had kids home and I was not responding to emails in a timely manner and things can slip through the cracks you know you come back after a week to your emails and suddenly like you can only deal with the fires you know like the things that are so important and you don't get around to some of the things that are maybe a little bit lower on your priority list as deadlines and jobs and stuff like that so do not just make up stories, okay? Now, if your art is indeed not currently a good fit for an art director, now we don't know if this is true, but if your artwork is going to an inbox and the art director is seeing it and the reason, and we don't know, but the reason is that they're not picking up um, you know, they're not hitting reply and telling you anything is because it's not a fit right now um, or they don't see exactly what would, you know, where your work could fit into their current line. If that's the case, don't despair, okay? Think about your favorite clothing store. If you happen to be on your favorite clothing store's mailing list. Now, I like Bowdoin and I like Loft and I am on their email list because I've ordered from them before so then they just automatically put you on their email list, right? If you're on your favorite clothing store's email list from ordering or what have you, you probably get at least four or five emails a week from this clothing store, right? Do you think I read all of Loft's emails? No. Do I read all of Bowdoin's emails? No. I don't read any of them almost. Um, when Bowden sends me a catalog in the mail, I'll take a flip through, um, but I'm not reading every single email, absolutely not. Does that mean I don't like their clothing? No, I love their clothing. I just don't need clothing right now and I don't need to see it four times a week to know what I want or what I need. So when you are in a place that you need some new clothes, okay, like right now it's fall, it's early September, weather's getting cooler. Um, I'm thinking about like looking at my jacket situation, no fall jackets because the one that I really liked last year got a rip in it and it can't really be repaired. So what am I doing? I'm going to the emails of my favorite stores or the websites of my favorite stores and I'm looking at what they have in the way of fall jackets. I'm looking at what they have in the way of sales. Now, just because I haven't been on these websites or looked at these emails in three months or two months doesn't mean that I don't like their clothing. I do. I love it. But I just didn't need clothing at that time. So hopefully you can see how this could relate to an art director, right? If you're sending in artwork that is, you know, a new collection that you did that's like birthday themed art to a greeting card company and at that moment they're working on Halloween and Christmas. They 
might love it, but they're not dealing with that email right then. And then if the next thing you send them is, you know, a month later and it's Valentine's Day, and at that point they are working on sympathy cards. They're just putting it away. But when they get to birthdays, when they get to birthdays, they're gonna look back and say, where is that birthday card? And that might be six months, eight months down the road. And if you're worried about like, how do I line up with those calendars and things like that, don't get worried about that. Don't stress out about that. Every company is different. Obviously you can look on their website to see if they have submission guidelines and they have calendars. Some companies do, um, or if you start um, talking with the art director, if you've had some back and forth, you can ask them specifically, but it's fine to submit whatever you've got going on whenever and, you know, not be too concerned about hitting exactly their calendars. But the point remains that if you're not hearing anything back, it's not necessary. And, and if the fit isn't right, it's not necessarily because they don't like your art. It's because that's not what they need at that moment. The other thing that you can be doing when you are working, uh, when you're not getting emails back from potential clients is make a habit of keeping the conversation going. All right, this is something that I talk about a lot in my Start Your Surface Pattern Business course. You've gotta keep the conversation going, even if it's one-sided. And that's sort of the same idea as like Bowdoin and Loft sending me constant emails. It's like, maybe I am not thinking about fall jackets, but maybe I see a subject line that just catches my attention that's like, you know, 70% off, you know, whatever, summer clearance, or um, we've got the newest fall trends in, in season or whatever in stores. Maybe I want to check it out. Maybe that catches my interest and that's something that just hooks me enough that I go and look and then I remember, oh yeah, and, and I need a fall jacket. Okay, so now I'm here, blah, 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 right? That's how I get hooked. You want to be someone that people recognize your name because they've seen you regularly. Even if you're, you're you know, even if they're not responding, you want to be someone where they, you've been having sort of an ongoing relationship slash uh, conversation with an art director. So you want to continue to send your art so that you're recognizable. You want to continue to um, reach out. And as you do, you don't have to introduce yourself every single time. You can give a brief introduction the first couple times. But beyond that, you are welcome to just say, here's what's new with me. Here's this new art that I'm working on and I'm really excited about. And, and you know, anything relevant to their company, um, you know, that might be useful information or useful kind of like casual conversation. Like, oh, I just saw your product line in this store and I love it. Um, or those new, um, you know, like shimmer metallic holographic, you know, like embellishments you're using in your cards are so gorgeous or, oh my goodness, I just sewed a project with your fabrics and the, the feel of the cotton is just so soft. I don't know, whatever. The point is one or two sentences that kind of keep the conversation going along with your art makes you, you know, you're, you're building a relationship even if it feels one-sided and that can eventually pay off. You don't know what people are reading. Again, let's not just assume that they're not reading it or they're not interested or they hate you. <laughs> let's assume the best and assume that they're reading every one and, you know, keep that conversation going so that when they are ready, when they do need that thing from you, they can think back to, oh yeah, she was just in my inbox talking about something. What was it? Oh, let me look back. Oh, okay. She had these really cute Valentine's dogs. Okay. Well, um, you know, we're just finishing up Christmas, but Valentine's is coming next. So I'm going to like flag this one to come back to or whatever it is. All right. So that's another thing. Keep the conversation going. Finally, if you're not getting responses, be sure to that you are keeping track of who you've reached out to and what you've sent um, via like a either like a Google spreadsheet or an Airtable spreadsheet or some sort of document, whatever makes the most sense for you. But the companies that you're reaching out to, 
which art and collections they've already received from you, and when the last time you sent artwork out to them was, um, so that you can be sure to be consistent about it, so that you can be sure to um, be giving them your newest stuff. Um, and even if it's not your newest stuff, even if it's just you know holiday appropriate, or it's just something that you, you saw something in their line that might relate back to something, might remind you of something in your portfolio. Um, whatever the reason is that, um, you know, art seems like a good fit to send them at that time, be sure to keep track of what you're sending. And um, that is going to help you stay organized and stay consistent and keep the conversation going, which is super important. So I hope those tips helped. Obviously, it does not feel great to have no one responding to you, and I certainly hope that you are getting some responses, but I promise you, first of all, it gets easier, and second of all, it's most likely not as bad as you're making it out in your head. So keep going, keep trying, keep creating new artwork, and keep consistent. And soon the emails that you're not getting any responses to are going to start to turn over and you're going to start to make those connections. If you love learning about surface pattern design and creative business, be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram at eSilverDesign. Also, I would be super grateful if you shared this channel with your surface pattern friends.